So, what we hold in consciousness and our intention then actually influences the total field. So what can we do for mankind? We can be the most forgiving, loving, understanding, compassionate, kind person we can be towards all of life. The reverence for all of life in all of its expressions. The little black beetle laying on its back and his little legs are, he's saying, help me, help me. <laughs> you try to walk away and <laughs> You have to go back and turn them over. <laughs> Why? Because that's what you have become. See? You have the option to say, <laughs> and squash them right there. I hate beetles. They stink. <laughs> all right. So we have the option then at all times, at all times. And here we are on this planet, on this island, on some trajectory, a migration, an evolutionary migration of our spirit. And here we mm, bless by our attitude all that we encounter. In so doing, we raise the level of the sea. And by raising the level of the sea, these people at the bottom of the maps are lifted up by the buoyancy of the water, not by cause and effect. Giving them money increases the poverty. In Haiti, the more money you gave them, the worse the poverty got. No, it's not money. It's a matter of consciousness. What causes people to be at the bottom is their level of consciousness. So what we do for all of mankind is to be as loving towards all of life as we can be, thereby blessing all of mankind, thereby raising its level of consciousness, thereby lifting all with us. Amen. <laughs> Thank you.